Hey y'all and welcome back to Drop the Mic. As y'all slide in that door, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and remember that everything I say over here is alleged. It's in my opinion and it's for entertainment purposes only. So y'all see the uh, title of the video. So the person that had something to say is Mr. Martel Holt. So apparently he was feeling some type of way in regards to i don't know maybe some stuff he had been doing who knows but he liked this post that you see up here and basically what the post says is the things that you need to do four things you must quit in order to grow closer to god okay and number one was worrying worry is worship to the devil and god says we shall cast our worries onto him and be anxious for nothing so give it to god and let him take the weight of your worries right that was one then you had number two speaking word curses over your life um and then it goes on to give you an explanation for that um number three Let's see, number three was allowing your fears to control you, all right? He said the devil is a liar. God does not give you a spirit of fear. Um, the enemy places fear and doubts in your mind to prevent you from becoming who God has called you to be. Um, and it says a little bit more. And number four was people pleasing. Stop making decisions based off of what other people will think about you. When you're walking with God, you're not going to, going to be liked because you make decisions opposite of what people think is right. So it sounds to me like he's trying to basically, uh, I was hoping that he would be think, uh, moving in the right direction as far as getting some help. Um, but that last one, it just sounds to me like he, he wants validation that the, the, the decisions that he's made and the things that he's done is actually of God and pleasing to God. And I'm here to say absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. That? Now, my whole thing with that is, first of all, let me tell you who liked it, okay? Y'all know he's been super, super quiet on social media. Um, and in my opinion, whenever he's super quiet, it's because he's behind the scenes trying to do diabolical, ignorant shit to his ex-wife, um, trying to find ways to hurt her and his children. Um, because again, he's the type of motherfucker that if you ain't with him or he's not you know benefiting from a situation then he wants to see you down down bad right so my question is all of a sudden you praying the biggest demon and satan himself is praying and talking about patience and speaking on like what speaking on all of this spiritual stuff and how you need to do this and do that and all of these things why why all of a sudden and and look it's nothing wrong with it i'm actually hoping that in him actually turning towards god that is finally him realizing that he's been out here acting like a fuck boy for the last three or four years and that the things that he has done to his ex-wife and his children and his family is almost damn near unforgivable um <laughs> like hopefully that's the space that he might be entering that's what i'm praying because i feel like that as much as he calls on God, he doesn't realize that the reason why his life is in shambles and happening the way it's happening is because of all of the shit that he's put out there in the atmosphere. Like you're only getting back what you put out, in my opinion. Um, so you can pray and 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 ask God for this, that, and and act like that you understand, you know. Um, your divine order and all that stuff but honestly if you are still behaving in the same fashion then you haven't learned 
or understand anything and you can call on God all you want, it's still not going to stop the rain from falling from the stuff that you've put out there, from the things that you've done to other people, including your ex-wife and your and your children. Um, I really do believe that. On another note, <clears throat> have y'all noticed something? Because I have. I don't know if they went to court or not. Um, I know that it was they it either just happened or um, it's coming up soon. But <clears throat> I've noticed that Mel has had her children. This is going on the fourth week. At least that's what it seems. Now, you guys, this is all a legend in my opinion. So I have no idea if <clears throat> what I'm telling you is factual actual or not i'm speculating and it appears to me that the children have been with her through several events um and they've been with her for going on a month and it seems like almost with no break so i'm wondering has something happened as far as um the custody is concerned and when i say that i mean on a temporary basis um y'all it could have something to do with the fact that he got that dv charge and um the actual custody could have been amended temporarily um just to keep the kids in a safe spot that's one option another one is he could have had that evaluation evaluation done and the psychiatrist decided he is not in a space where he can handle having the kids on a 50 50 basis and every you know other week for a whole seven days because you know based off of the outcome of that evaluation you know there's some things that need to be fixed and there are some things that need to be handled um, from a mental health standpoint. And you guys, listen, that's not abnormal. And if that's the case, I actually would be happy because then that would mean that he's getting some help. Because that's really all that I think any of us have ever wanted for Martel. Because his children, believe it or not, they love their father. And it's nothing wrong with that. That's their dad. And that's the only dad they are going to ever have. So I understand their little innocent selves loving their father. However, if there was some mental health issues going on and they need to be kind of reined in and put in check so that he can be healthy mentally to be a good dad to them then guess what this all happened for the best because I could see with my own two little eyeballs that he was becoming in my opinion un hinged um as it pertains to this situation and there were some things that he was saying that honestly didn't even make logical sense like if you allow me to beat the kids at my pleasure then I'll allow you to put them on social media that's not even a normal statement that's not even something a sane person would say um and, you know, and so with that being said, I think that the psychological and psychiatric evaluation has been long overdue. I absolutely believe that. I believe that, you know, sometimes you can really go into this, you know, dangerously mental place, especially with all of the loss that he suffered. And granted, it was at his own hands, okay? Everything that happened to Martel was his own doing. He made the decisions that he made to make his life go in the direction that it went in. He lost his family because of his decisions. He lost uh, he lost his wife, ex-wife, because of his decisions. Um, he had a whole nother um, spite baby because of his decisions um he allowed a uh, skanky bird to disrespect his ex-wife and his children because of his decisions he also have allowed the um his cast members of that show and the ep 
of the show to disrespect, bully, and harass, and actually led the charge in all of that against his ex-wife. All of these things are things that, and I mean, the most disgusting thing, two disgusting things that he did was the revenge pee, okay, attempting to do that to his ex-wife, and low-key, subtly trying to deny paternity of one of your children. It's disgusting, okay? Let's be clear on that. So with all of those things that he did, I mean, can you imagine this ninja was at rock bottom so the mental is going to be right there with him like there's no way that he wasn't affected mentally by all the fuck shit that he was doing there's no way so in my opinion i do believe that you know one of those two things could have occurred um and again if the latter occurred, meaning that um, based off of that evaluation, there were some changes made to the custody for the children's safety, I would say that great, because that means that he is on the track finally to get some real professional help, which in my opinion is what he's needed. He suffered a great many losses in these last three or four years. I mean, huge losses, financial, love, all of that. Again, at his own hands, but that is enough to drive any sane person off their rocker, in my opinion. <clears throat> so yeah, um, what do you all think? Um, do y'all think that he's finally trying to, um, you know, atone for his ways by uh trying to find some spirituality that's that why he liked this post um or do y'all think that listen his back is up against the wall and some things have happened and possibly that's making him have to really look himself in the mirror and actually make some peace with the things that he caused over the last few years and just kind of deal with it but you know not take it out on the children um what do y'all think has anything happened or are we just throwing darts in the wind um you know I've noticed that they've been with her a lot more than they used to be, which honestly, I told y'all, I'm happy to see, but I just wonder what could have happened behind the scenes, you know, and again, just speculating. I know this is a private situation and of course, um, we, you know, we may find out we may not, but just wondering just wondering because I love to know that the children are safe and I also love to know that you know I would love to know if he's really truly getting some real help so that he can be a parent to these children and heal and get over this situation because constantly trying to hurt your ex-wife and trying to do things to her that's not getting him nowhere all it's doing is making him go even nuttier and it's making him lose his mind in my opinion so y'all hop down in the comments tell me what y'all think about this don't forget to hit the like uh button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see all you guys in the next one bye What's up with you?